Hi everyone, this is Rita from Max Geeks, and I'm super excited, as always, to be here to one more of our live streams. And I know it has been a while, at least a couple of weeks since our last live stream, so I'm super excited to be here. And um, as you know, I'm always very excited, <laughs> as I said before, but also very happy to, to know that you come um, to our live streams and you keep showing up, and that means a lot to us. So thank you so much. Uh, for, for being here and thank you so much for watching our live streams either live or afterwards. It means a lot to us. Um, before we get we dig deeper into our uh, live stream of the day, we just want to give you a bit of a review about uh, XGeeks and what we do. So as you know, we're an engineering uh, company focused on providing capacity to product companies. And XGeeks represents, at least we, at least we, we like to believe so, uh, the perfect balance between projects and products. And our team's across Portugal work in building products while dealing with the broad stack. And um, really, if you want to know more about XGeeks, and because today's live stream is not about XGeeks, um, but if you want to know more about us, our team, our open positions, our content, and, and more, uh, you can make sure to follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, Instagram, Medium. Uh, we like to believe that we do some cool stuff there, so we'd love to, to see you uh, around. And as you know, uh, and as you can tell, uh, I could be here talking all day about XGeeks, but uh, I want to bring you a very special guest to our stage. And uh, uh, I want to bring you Bruno Souza. And it's not actually the first time that Bruno has been with us and has brought his expertise to share with us. And we're super lucky to do so. And Bruno will uh, be guiding a conversation here between us all on uh, this, the, the one skill developers need to design their careers and break their career plateau. But before any uh, topics, I just want to highlight that this will be an open conversation so you can make sure to use our comment session uh, section uh, leave questions leave comments and uh, yeah let's address it so with no further ado i want to bring bruno to our stage bruno it's awesome to see you here <laughs> hey Hita, how are you doing it's awesome to be here with you right so thanks everyone from x geeks for for, for inviting me you know thanks to Hita, thanks otavio my good friend that's helping out here too so thanks very so much um, you know, I love this conversation, this open conversation with developers. I think that there's a, there's a, a, a you know, a, a lot of cool, cool things that we can talk about, right? For and sure. I do think that we as developers, the more we focus on our skills, the more we improve our skills, the better we're going to do in our career. So that's great to be here with you. Awesome. Thank you so much, Bruno. So I'm extra excited. I'm always excited, as I said before, but I'm extra excited for today. So I'll just leave the stage to you. I just want to highlight that uh, everyone over there watching is at home. We're super lucky to have these uh, insights of Bruno, the ones that are just coming our way. So make sure to leave your questions, your comments in the in the, in the the chat. Uh, Bruno will be managing those together with myself. So make sure to uh, uh, address them. And yeah, let's give it a go. Bruno, the stage is yours. And thank you so much. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, that's awesome. So thanks everyone. So hey, I see Otavio saying hello in the chat, right? So if you can hear us, if you can see us well, say hello in the chat. Tell us where you're from, right? You know, tell us, uh, um, you know, say, uh, so I see XGeek saying hello, right? So that's great. So, you know, look, I love the fact that, you know, you have companies like XGeeks that are, uh, you know, are, are bringing technologies for, to solve the world, right? So the world's problem. So there's a lot of companies that need that, a lot of companies that need uh, help, right? So if you can participate, if you can, if you can join uh, X Geeks, or, right? It's it's a, it's an awesome opportunity. But I want to discuss um, your career, right? So so tell me, uh, you know, say say hello in the chat. Tell me what's going on. Tell me what problem you're you're facing right now in terms of your career, right? Because that's that's what that's that's the discussion we're going to be doing here today right so say a quick hello and um you know one thing that i'm gonna that, that people always ask me is oh you know how do i improve my technical skills right how do i improve my my technology skills how do i uh, uh how do i become a better developer right so that's that's a that's a, a, a something that i love uh to talk about how do we become a better developer right and 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 the question about this is what better means, right? What exactly is better? And I think that's one question you should be asking you yourself, right? So when you say that you want to be a better developer, what do you want, right? Because uh, um, the reality is we want to improve as technologies. We want to improve as uh, uh, as developers, right? We want to be better developers because we want something, right? So what do you want? What is it you want 
for your career? Do you want to, uh, you know, to earn more money? Do you want to have a better, bigger salary? Do you want to buy a, a nice house for a family? Do you want to travel the world, right, and be recognized? What is the thing that you really, really want? And I think that's a very important thing for us to start thinking about because um, we, you know, it's very hard to just be better, right? Uh, uh, because there's one thing that we that we have to understand about uh, about our, our market, right? Is that there's not one better person, right? There's not you know one better job, job developer, the best job developer. There's not one best Go developer. There's not one best open source developer, right? So it's always about uh, you know your goals, right? What do you want to achieve? What what where, where do you want to go? So I think that the very very first thing uh, that we need for uh, um, you know for for ourselves right for our careers is trying to understand what we where do we want to achieve because there's one interesting thing right let me let me pull this this board a little closer here because um, there's one interesting thing that I like I like to say right so you know when you're trying to get somewhere right you know that's that's the big thing that we in, in our careers right we want to get somewhere right so when you when you're trying to get somewhere uh on a on a GPS, for example, on Waze, right, or Google, whatever whatever GPS they use, um, you know, what do you do, right? You know, you have you have a, a, a map here. Let's let's say there's a, there's a, there's a map here. So what do you do? Do you focus on where you want to get, right? Do you focus where you want to get, or do you focus on the path, right? You know, what, what do you do when you use a GPS, uh, um, you know, like Waze, for example, right? You don't you don't insert on Waze the path, right? Or even in Google, the path, right? What you do is that you insert where you want to get, right? And if you're using a tool like Waze that will adapt uh, the path, right, uh, on the way, what's going to happen is that once you set where you want to go, uh, your GPS, we're going to guide you right, through whatever path needs to do to get you to that point, right? And because you know where you want to get, what happens if in, right in the, in the middle here, you make a mistake and you turn that way, right? Or, or there's too much traffic here and there's a blockage or something and you have to turn to a different way. What happens? Because you know where you want to get, the GPS is able to reroute you and get you to another path, it could be a longer path, maybe, right? You know, if you if you got here, you know, maybe is actually a longer path, right? But then eventually gets you back uh, uh, where you want to get, right? So the idea is, once you know where you want to get, it's possible for it to evaluate. Am I am I getting closer to where I'm where I'm trying to get? And it's possible to out to correct, right? You know, if you don't know now. Imagine that you don't know where you want to get here, right? Imagine that you don't know where you want to get there. And so you, you, you have this path, right? That's the path you have. And then and you don't know where you're going to get. So when there's a mistake or there's a change in idea, and then you, you, turn, you turn to another place, then what happens? Then you're here and, you know, where you go? You don't know. And then we got lost, right? So if we don't know where we want to get, we get lost. So that is uh, what we need in our careers, right? We need to think about where you want to get. Now, the question that I get from people, every time I say that, right? So you need to decide where you want to get. People tell me, oh yeah, sure, Bruno. But that's easy on ways, right? Because we have an address. We know where we're going to get. But in our lives, we actually don't know where we're going to get, right? And, and you know, things may change, right? And that is a, that is also an interesting thing that we can think about, right? And so when we're trying to do that, right? When we're trying to find where we're gonna get, uh, here's what people think, right? I'm right here. That's that's my starting point right here, right? I'm right here, and then I need to go somewhere, right? But I don't know where. So instead of so basically, what I do is I keep thinking. I keep planning. I keep imagining. So I'm, I'm going to go here, or maybe it's going to be there. Or maybe it's going to be there, or or here, or there. Right? You know, I keep imagining, and until I decide, I I don't move. Right? I just stay where I am. 
until I decide, right? Because I don't know where, I don't know where, how to put my effort. I don't know which path I'm going to take, right? So do I, do I go here? Do I go here? Or do I go there, right? So I, I don't know. I don't know which path I'm going to get. Now, interesting enough is, uh, have, you ever, have you ever got to a friend's house, for example, where your friend uh, didn't give you the address yet, right? So, you know, you, you scheduled to be on a party, on a friend's party, and your friend did not give the address yet, right? But you know that he lives in a certain part of the town, right? You know he lives in, in a, you know, maybe in a, in a, in a you know, the city that he lives in, right? It's so like a, a nearby city, right? So, for example, right after this call here, I'm going to travel to Sorocaba, right? It's a city that's one hour away from where I am, right? So let's imagine I don't have the exact address in Sorocaba, right? So my friend's going to tell me the exact address. So do I need to stay here waiting until he gives me the extra exact address? Or, you know, I know that I want to be somewhere around here, right? It's a very big path. I mean, it's a very big possibility, right? I know I'm going to be somewhere around here. So if I know I'm going to be there somewhere around here, can I start moving in that direction? Right? You know, I can get the car and it's going to be an hour away anyway, right? So I can get the car and travel for the, for the first maybe 40 minutes, right? It's going to make no difference, right? Because I'm going to go on the direction I want, right? And that's our career, right? For, for a big part of our career, it does not really matter because we want to go in that direction, right? And so basically what we want is, you know, we want to, we want to know I'm going to go towards that, you know, I think it's kind of just too big here. I'm just going to reduce a little bit here so I can do a better drawing, right? So, you know, so I'm here, right? I'm here and I want to go towards that direction here right that's the thing i want right so i want to you know i want to have a, a certain salary right i want to have i want to work remotely i want to move another country right i want to uh, uh, be recognized so i can get better jobs right so it's like it's a general idea it's not specific right no uh when you talk about focus people think oh my focus is java for example no your focus is not java your focus is the big things you want to accomplish right so no, I want I want to be a senior developer. I want to be you know I want to I want to do this big thing. So so you have this direction, right? And because you have this direction, right, you can start moving that way, right? That's that's the important thing. You what you do is that you do you think okay I'm gonna go you know I'm thinking that direction I'm, I want to go right here, right? And so and then you do a step, you take some action, you do something. That will make move you closer to that thing, right? You move, move you closer to that direction. Then you take one step, right? Now that you're here, that you're moving, you can look around and say, from that point, point vantage point here, you know, am I getting close to what I want? Yeah, I am, right? But you know, it's too too fuzzy, right? So let me do another step on that direction, and then from here, right? I'm now that I'm right here, I can better see, right? this this thing right so i can say you know what i don't want to be right there i want to go more toward this part here because now i know more about it right i can see better i understand better what's going on right so let's say this here is you know i want to be recognized and i want to be able to get good amazing jobs in the software development area for example so now i'm here i can take a look and i, I can see specific technologies i can see specific things that i like i can see specific projects that, I inter that i'm interested in i can see specific market trends that i'm interested in right because and, and then now i can say okay actually i want to go that direction right i want to go i don't want to go here right i want to go in that direction here so i take another step towards that goal here because that's that's what i want to get right and so i move that way and then when i'm here i'm like you know what to get there, if I get here first, it's a lot quicker. So maybe I can do a step that direction here, right? To get here, right? And now that I'm, I'm more here, I can see beyond. I can see, you know what? Really what I want is right there and I can move that direction. So my point here is 
when we start, we don't know exactly where we're going to go, right? But we have just a general idea. And that's enough for you to start taking positions, right? Uh, you know, because then you move in that direction. And then the more you move in that direction, the more you understand what's going on, the more you can see what's around you, the more you understand the technologies, the difficulties, the opportunities. And then you can start horn in, right? You can start focus in in specific things that you want, right? So this is how, and then when you get here, you say, you know what? Actually, what I want is right there, right? And then now, you know, it's like, it's like on a GPS, right? You leave your house knowing that you want to get to Sorocaba, right? You know, you guys don't know what Sorocaba is, but it's just one hour away from my house, right? So I'm, I'm, I know I want to get here, but when I'm getting closer, my friend texts me and say, hey, Bruno, here the address where we are, right? Because you know what? Maybe by the time I leave here, my friend doesn't know where the party's going to be, right? We're going to meet in a bar. Which bar? I don't know yet. So just come, and by the time you get here, I'm going to know more where we're going to be, right? And so maybe my friend, tech, when I'm, 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 I'm right here, my friend texts me and said, Bruno, that's where we're going to get, to, to this bar right here. So then I go to, to the address that he gave me, and when I get there, you know, he got there a little earlier, and he found out the place was just too full. And so he just moved to another restaurant like two blocks away. Right, but it's still close by. So, I'm, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna zoom in in what I really want. So that is what happens in our careers, right? We don't know, and actually, it's not because you don't know, because you don't know enough, or because any of that, right? Is because the jobs of the future, the technologies of the future, the things that are gonna change the world ten years from now, they don't exist yet, right? You don't know about them, right? So you can't focus on something that you don't even know about, right? So if all you do is you, you just move when you know exactly what you're going to do, what happens is that you can only do things that are already passed. You can't do future things, right? So that's why we have to keep this in mind, right? So where do you want to get, right? I can see lots of people watching us. So say hello in the chat. Ask your questions, right? Because the idea here is to answer your question. So where do you want to get? Right on the chat. What is your biggest dream? What is the thing that it's, you know, if that happened this year uh, or in the next couple of years, that would be the most amazing things for you. So tell me in the chat, what is the most amazing uh, uh, thing that you want, right? So the most amazing goal that you have so, so we can help you get there and achieve there, right? So, uh, you know, so, so, so now, the question on this on this conversation here is, what is the one is skill, right? What is the one is skill that's gonna get you here, right? Hey Max, good to see you. So come on, Max, tell me what's your biggest goal and and what's going on, right? So uh, uh, so I can so I can help you and achieve your biggest goal, Max. That would be awesome. So now, in my opinion. What is the one skill that's going to get you exactly where you want, right? You know, I understand lots of people say, oh, yes, you know, I need to be a great developer. I need to be very good with Java or I need to be, you know, uh, an awesome. I need to write code very fast, right? I mean, all those things, right? It's going to be uh, amazing. But some people are going to tell me, oh, you know what? What I need are the hard skills. Oh, Bruno, what I need is I need to improve my hard skills. Or some people, hey, Bazlu, so we have we have a, a Java champion in the house. That's great, man. So so we have Bazlu as a Java champion. We have Otavio Santana as a Java champion. We have Bruno Souza as a Java champion. So that's a, a Java champion meet, meet up. That's great, right? Okay, good. So lots of people are going to tell me, yeah, what I want is that I need to improve the hard skills. Right? And I need to be very good technically, right? I need to improve my technical skills, right? You know, that's that's what people think about, right? The hard skills, right? Some people can tell me, oh, Bruno, actually, what I need to improve is my soft skills. 
right? I, I need to, to do my, my uh, uh, person is skills. If you would call it the soft skill, person skills, right? And so, so I, so I need to, keep, to, to, to do my, my soft skills, right? And uh, so let me, let, let me first start explaining that, you know, a lot of people have a, a, a wrong idea of what hard skills are and what soft skills are, right? Um, you know, so yes, yeah, so I, think, I think that's a, that's a, that's a good. Let me quickly talk about it because, you know, look, if you want to know which is the one skill that's going to make all the difference in your career, right? We have to think about, okay, so if what, what is, is this one skill a hard skill or soft skill, right? So let's think about what is a hard skill and what is a soft skill, right? So first of all, a hard skill is not hard because it's difficult. That's what people try to think about. Oh, yeah, the hard, the hard skills are hard because they're difficult, right? So a hard skill is not hard because it's difficult. A hard skill is hard because it's free size. It's an exact skill. Oh, my board is... Let me... I'm, I'm going I'm to move this thing in a little bit here. All right. Okay, that's a little better. All right. So a hard skill... A hard skill is not hard because it's hard, it's difficult. It is hard because it's precise, right? It's a precise skill, right? It's, uh, 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 what do I mean by precise, right? It's something that you do in a very specific way. It's, it's, you do it uh, uh, precisely, right? You do it, uh, uh, for example, let me give an example, right? Typing on the keyboard. Tapping on the keyboard is a hard skill. Why? Because it, the more your fingers, the more precise your fingers move on the keyboard, the faster you type, the better you are, right? You know, it's not a creative thing, right? You know, you don't, you don't, you learn how to type, right? It's very specific, it's very precise. The more exact, the more precise is your hand movement, the faster you type on a keyboard. Make sense? That's what a hard skill is, a precise skill, right? And there are some very important precise skills in software development. For example, typing on the keyboard is a precise skill, right? Um, uh, your programming language is very precise, right? You know, you, you cannot even mix, you, you, can, you cannot, you know, uh, uh, the little things that you do makes a difference, right? It's very detailed, right? Now, interesting enough, a lot of people think that the hard skills are the important skills because they are technical skills, right? It's technical, right? Oh, I'm a technical guy, right? So software development is a technology, is a technical thing. So I want to do the hard skills. But yes, hard skills are technical skills. But it's not technical the way we think it of technical, right? It is technical because there is a technique, right? It's a technology because there's a technique, right? So when you type on the keyboard, there is a technique, right? You put your fingers, right? Right at the bump, right? And you put your both fingers here, right at the bump, right? Okay, so you don't even need to look at the keyboard. You see the bump, and then that's the best position to have to, to, has, to rest your fingers, right? And so you have a technique to, and then you learn, oh, yes, you press U with that finger and, and P with the other finger, right? So, you know, so you learn a technique to type on the keyboard, right? That is a hard skill. Are they important? Amazingly important. Hard skills are fundamental, right? Actually, that's what we call them. They're they are fundamental skills, right? Now, but hard skills are precise, right? So what are soft skills? Soft skills, right? They are malleable. They're not softer because they're easy. They're softer because they are malleable, right? So soft skills, they are not techniques, right? They're malleable skills that you apply in different situations. Make sense? 
So you don't, there's no different situation with having a keyboard. It's always the same thing, right? You repeat over and over and over, right? But soft skills are malleable skills. They are creative skills, right? Why? Because soft skills are the skills that require you to do another thing, another way to call them, they are pattern matching. They are pattern matching. They require you to understand a, a situation and apply differently. You apply this skill in different ways to solve the situation, right? So now, when you're talking, when you're doing software development, right? When you're doing software development, software development is not a hard skill. Software development is a creative, malleable, pattern matching soft skill, right? So if you want to be an amazing software developer, yes, you do need the hard skills because you do need the, the, the programming language. You do need to type the keyboard. You do need to be to have the fundamentals. You need that, right? But software development itself, it's a soft skill. Here is a secret for you. There's no, no job that you do in your life. There's nothing important that you do that is not a combination of both hard and soft skill, right? So it's always a combination, right? Every time you do something creative, you're going to do something creative by using the techniques that you have on the hard skill. So you do software development, you use programming language and keyboards and, and IDEs to, to, to do software development. You do, oh, yes, uh, uh, speaking is a soft skill. Yeah, but for you to for you to be a good speaker, you have to have a good voice, right? You have to, you know, how to do slides, and you have to to organize a story. You have to be, uh, you know, all of those are hard skills, right? You know, because all those have techniques for you to do those things, right? So basically, um, you know, it's a combination of hard skills and soft skills. Everything you do, it's a combination of those things, right? So now, once you understand the software development is a soft skill right? Then it's a lot more interesting because now that's the important thing. What is the difference? What's up if, 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 if they're a combination all the time, right? So what's the difference between a hard skill and a soft skill? So the difference is how you practice. That's the biggest difference, right? The biggest difference between soft skill and hard skills is how you practice them because the hard skill, it's precise. You practice by doing repetitions, Repetit. Oh. You practice hard skills by doing repetitions, right? You repeat the same thing over and over and over and over. You get a keyboard and you type the keyboard over and over and over and over and over, right? And then you, re you repeat until you can do it so precisely that you don't make mistakes anymore, right? That's your, that's a goal. You repeat it so many times that you can do faster. You can do less mistakes, right? So that's the example of the keyboard, right? So the better, the more precise your fingers move on the keyboard, the faster you can type, the faster you can, you can play a guitar, the faster you can play a piano because your fingers move to the right position and you make less mistakes, right? So the very good typist will type, you know, thousands of words without a single mistake, right? And very fast. So that's what the, that's what the hard skill does. It's you do you repeat until you get precise, right? Now, how do you practice soft skills? They are creative. They are pattern matching. They are malleable. So you have to put yourself in different situations, right? So a soft skill, you grow, you improve a soft skill by putting yourself in multiple different situations because you have to recognize the different situations that you need to apply the skill differently make sense so a hard a soft skill you repeat it's always is also repetition but the repetition the hard skill is equal repetitions right on the soft skill is also repetition but it's different repetitions make sense now here is the problem with developers Developers think that software development is a, is a hard skill. So they apply 
hard skill practice to be better at soft development. And that's, that's a mistake, right? You should apply soft skill practice to be a better developer, right? And apply hard skill practice to be a better typist, for example, right? So to type better on the keyboard, that's a great skill for developers. Make sense? So with all of that, so what is the one skill? The one skill it's, you know, that, that, that I think makes a big difference, right? So before I go to the one skill, let me quickly take a look here at the chat, right? So I see Max says, I like to get an international re relevance in order to get an, a develop advocate position. That's great, Max. So Max wants to be a develop advocate, right? And so he wants to reach out international relevance. So that's great. Uh, ama amazing this, Max. Uh, and then uh, um, Max also says, uh, you know, amazing friends, Otav and Basru, that's good. Amazing to see you guys here. That's awesome. Okay, awesome. So come on. If you're watching this right now, it's your chance, right? We only have a few more minutes here. So it's your chance to ask whatever question you have about skills, about being a better developer, about, um, you know, your what, where do you want to get? So tell me on the chat, where do you want to get? How, you know, how, how far do you want to go in your career? So we can use that to help you out. All right. So now let's go back to, now that we talk about skills, right? Let's go back to the whole idea of going to where everyone in our career is, right? So it's one interesting thing. I'm going to talk about the one skill in a minute, right? But there's one interesting thing that developers tell me all the time is that, you know, they don't grow, right? They don't grow. So they, they here, here's how developer life happens a lot of times, right? So you're right here, you know, that's, that's the beginning of your career, right? You know, that's your career right here, right? Okay, so let me put the arrow right here so you guys can see it. <laughs> okay, so yeah, so that's the beginning of your career. That's where you begin, and that's 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 you know towards there, right? Your career is moving that that, that direction. So when you begin, it's very normal that you know you be you begin a, uh, in the beginning, it's kind of uncertain, right? You don't know exactly what you're gonna do. You don't, you know, you don't know your first job, your second job. It's like things are not very uncertain, right? And then suddenly, you you got what you want, right? So you know you got a good job or something like this, and then your career explodes, right? That's great, you know. And because here in the beginning, that's when you're still trying to build your developer brain, right? You know, here in the beginning. You're building your brain as a developer and you need some time to build these skills, right? That thing here takes, you know, I don't know, between one to three or five years. Let's say one to three years, more or less, right? It doesn't. So let's say here, right? One to three years, right? That's your, that's, that's, that's the beginning of your career here, right? Now, then after that, your career grows easily, right? You don't have to do any special things. Why? Because you get a better, you get better projects. Better projects make you learn new things that you don't know yet, right? So that creates a spiral of growth for you, right? Because you don't need to do anything special, and then suddenly you just grow, right? Anything you do, you just grow, and then it gets to a point, and you know that can be somewhere between you know five to 10, 15, sometimes twenty years, but let's let's say fifteen here, right? somewhere between five and 15 years in your career, right? And, and you reach out. Uh, um, and then a lot of times you get here and then you stagnate. Nothing changes, right? You can just keep doing the same thing over and over and over, right? And we call this the career plateau, right? We reach a plateau. And let me tell you one thing. The plateau is not a bad idea at all, really. Right? Because the plateau, what the plateau means, it means that you grow. I mean, you grill, right? You grill and you reach a plateau. Everything's good. And the plateau is very comfortable, right? You know, you're doing what you know, people trust you, right? It's all good, not a problem, right? Okay. So the plateau is a good thing. Now, the problem is how long will the plateau last? Right? How long? 
how long do you want the plateau to last, right? You know, it's 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 okay that you're doing something comfortable for maybe a year, a couple of years, right? But it gets to a point where you don't want to do that anymore. Or the whole market's changing, right? And now you're not, you're, you know, you're not part of the market anymore, right? You're just doing this very old thing that you're doing in the past, right? And so, it, so at some point you start getting restless, right? So you start getting upset, right? And so it depends on how long does it take there, right? You know, it could be, uh, uh, you know, it, it depends on, on how long you took your, your first phase here, right? Uh, you know, it, it, you, you're going to get restless at some point. So how do you restart growing? Because the reason why you stopped growing and you got in a plateau is because what you're doing in the past doesn't work anymore. That's the reason, right? That's, that's why we reach a plateau. Because what, you know, what we're doing here, there's nothing, right? We didn't, didn't need to do anything special. What we're doing here doesn't, doesn't work anymore. We need to change, right? Why we need to change? Because now you, you have so many experience, right? You have a lot of experience, right? You are probably on a senior level position, right? That's where you are right now, right? When you reach a plateau, you usually read a plateau when you have a senior level position, right? And you have lots of experience in something and people only see you for that one thing that you do make sense right and so then you reach a plateau right so francisco asks what do you think is a common mistake for junior developers when they still don't know exactly what they want to specialize on right and how to break that barrier so so francisco uh my my thing here right so so the junior developers are those people right here, right? So that's the junior developer, right? So that's a junior right here, okay? So the junior developer, right? It's the beginning of the career is, you know, the one to three years of career, maybe five years, depending depending where you are, right? So the junior developer, right? Um, you know, the, the, you, you, you don't have to specialize in anything as a junior, right? That's the point. You know, you're learning. You know, you don't know enough about the market yet, to want to specialize in something. You, know, you, you just, look, first of all, you should not be worried about specializing, right? So I, th I think Francisco is not, you know, he says that, uh, uh, you know, it's too, they don't know exactly what you specialize on. So I think Francisco wants to specialize in something, right? But the problem is that uh, if you special, if you, if you try to be very specific too early, that's a big problem, Francisco. Why? Because imagine as a junior, this here is all the markets, the current market, right? And then there is a future market that you, we don't know about, right? As a junior, maybe you know this here, right? That's all you know as a junior, right? You know very little about the market, right? So what are you going to specialize on? You can only specialize the thing that you know exists. You know, I'm not even saying that you know about, you know, that you know that stuff. That's what you know about. You know, those are programming languages that you, you know it, they exist. Those are the technologies that you know exist, right? It's just a, it's just a little, it's just very small, right? From everything that's possible, you know very little about it, right? So are you going to specialize in one of those things here? What about everything else that you could be interested in, right? So as a junior, your job is to expand that perception here, right? So then you know more about what exists, right? So when you become a senior, right? As a senior, you might know a lot more what exists, right? Make sense? So then, so, so, so don't, don't try. So, so as a junior, what you want, you want to expand what you know about. Make sense, Francisco? Right, so that's a common mistake, right? Is that junior developers want to, they want to just, you know, oh, I learned a Java and now Java is everything, right? Or I learned JavaScript, and JavaScript is everything, right? You know, I was talking to a friend of mine the other day that he just had, had just left uh, the, he, just, he had just left the, uh, the technical school, right? And he was telling me, no, because I did this JavaScript, I used JavaScript to do this sophisticated application 
and it does. It so it uses all the APIs, and you know, you you know those guys, right? You know, junior, they're fun, right? They're they're great. You know, they have such open, you know, they have first of all, they have open mind, right? They they want to learn things, and they are so energized, right? But they the, the little that they know, they think is like the most important thing ever. So if you as a junior, the first thing you know, and you say, I'm going to be a specialist in this, what happens? That's all, that's all you know, right? So it's just too early, uh, uh, Francisco. So that's, so, so juniors should, should try to, to be exposed to as many things as they can, right? You know, experiment with everything you can, right? And don't care. Oh, I'm, oh no, I'm not going to use C sharp because I'm a Java guy. No, no, go experiment with everything because that's, that's going to open your mind. And then from, from everything that you learn it, right? You know, you're gonna specialize in a few of those, right? In a few things that you're gonna really know, right? And what you're very good at might, might even include what you begin, but might not. You know, you might start with JavaScript and be very good in Java later on, right? Or you might start with C Sharp and be an amazing uh, uh, Rust developer later on, right? You know, it might, it might not even match what you started with. Make sense? So that's so so that that's so as a, as a junior, I think the more you expose yourself to things, the better you're, you're going to be. All right. Now, but but that said, uh, Francisco, don't be afraid of specializing. Right. You know, we we already very top specialists. You know, software developers are one fourth of one percent of the population. Right. So we are very very specialized already. Right. So. Don't worry about specializing even more, right? It's, it's all good, okay? So, hey, Lucas, how are you doing? Francisco, it makes sense. Thanks very much for the explanation. Thanks a lot, Francisco, for the question, right? But then, after junior, you grow a lot, right? Very easy to grow. In our, in our field, it's very easy to grow, guys. In this beginning of your career, it's very easy. You don't need to do anything, really. All you need to be is exposed to new things. You learn new things, you grow, like very fast but then you stop growing why because just learning new things becomes not enough right because here is when developers get fiction at us on learning right we get addicted to learn because we learn we grow we learn we grow we learn we grow awesome that's great right and then it gets to a point where learning more doesn't help you grow. And no one ever told you that that's going to happen. And so you think, man, I'm not learning enough. I got to learn more. I got to do more, right? I got to learn more, learn more stuff, right? Because that's not enough, right? And so, and then you try to learn more and you get more stuck, right? Right? Because it's not learning that makes you grow, right? And that, that's, when, that, that's when you get in the plateau. And then depending on people, I know I've met people, there are 30 plus years on the plateau. That's terrible, man. It, 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 it eats us inside, right? <coughs> so what do we need to get out of the plateau, right? For us to get out of the plateau, so Basu says, that's really true. I used to experiment with new technology each semester when I was back in university, right? That really helped me to be exposed in many things. That's great, man. Okay, Lucas say amazing. Okay, awesome. So then when learning is studying is not enough to grow anymore, what do you need? You need what I call the one skill to get out of the plateau, right? So again... The one is skill. Right? Because for you to get out of the plateau, you know what you need? You need that people trust you. Why do you need people to trust you? Because at this point here, guys, after you become a senior, you know, when you become a senior, all the positions after senior are trust-based positions. They are awesome positions. They are amazing jobs. They are unique jobs. That's the word. After senior, 
the jobs become unique jobs. And because they are unique, they are offered to unique people. Make sense? Right? So, after senior, for you to be able to achieve those unique jobs, people need to trust you. Why? Because when people trust you, they call you and not someone else. When I trust Lucas to, to work on my unique position, I call Lucas and not Francisco. Right? So that's why you need trust to go beyond senior. Make sense? Hey, Cassio, we have a conversation, Cassio, this Friday, right? We're going to talk all, all about this, me and you, man. That's going to be awesome. Okay, awesome. So you need trust. Now, how do you build trust in the market? That's where the one skill comes on, right? So how do you build trust in the market? By sharing. Right? Sharing is the skill that makes a difference for your life. Right? Why? Because when you share what you know, share what, Bruno? Share what you know. Share your code. Share you know the things that you're learning. Share all the things you're learning here, right? Share what you know. Why? Because when you share what you know, other people know what you know. And because they know what you know, they trust you on what you know. And because they trust you on what you know, when they need you, they call you and not someone else. Make sense? And then you are able to leave the plateau because then you go work on unique jobs. Make sense? So the one skill that's going to change your life is sharing. It's communication. It's open source, right? Anything that you do that shares what you do, shares what you know, builds trust. But Bruno, sharing is not going to make me a better developer. Oh, yes, it will. It will in two different ways. One, when you share, when you share with others what you know, you learn more, right? There's a lot of scientific studies that shows that the best way to learn is sharing, right? Second thing, you think that you think when you think, but in reality, you only think when you speak, when you write. That's why we write code, because we're thinking. We write code. So when you share, you think better. The more you share, the more you think. Right, so that becomes you a better a, a better developer, right? And the third thing I said two, but then let me say three. The third thing, when you share, people trust you, and you get unique positions. And nothing gets you better than working on the best projects, right? When you are working on the best projects, uh, you. Uh, um, you know, when you're working the best on the best projects, you get to experience the best technologies. You get to experience the most challenging problems. You get to experience what makes a difference. So when you share three things, when you share, you learn more, right? Because that's the best way to learn is to share. You think better and you are exposed to the most interesting projects. And with those three things, you get, you know, that's how you get out of the plateau, right? And then your life, right? So now that you know how to get out of the plateau by sharing and Baslur, the newest appointed Java champion, right? Baslur say sharing can make you a Java champion for sure, right? And so when you know how to get out of the plateau, what's going to happen in your life? You're gonna you're gonna get out of the plateau and then you're gonna grow and then you're gonna be in a nice position. And then when you don't wanna be in that position anymore, you're gonna grow again and be in a nice position. And then you're gonna grow again and be in a nice position, right? That's how you do your life. Remember, plateaus are good, they're comfortable, they're nice, right? 
it's a good time for us to think about life, right? So that's what we call, you know, I don't like that, that term, right? Lots of people want to say, oh, I want to have more uh, um, um, a work-life balance, right? There's no work-life balance. You, you only have life, right? Work is part of your life, right? So it's not work and life. Work is part of your life. But, you know, if you can do, you no, know, you grow, right? And then, you know, you do a little effort here to grow and then you are comfortable and then you grow and you're comfortable, right? That's a, that's a great way for also to improve, uh, you, you know, you, you, you improve the thing that you like, right? Because you, you're always doing things that you like. Make sense? All right, guys. I don't see any questions. Let's chance uh, uh, for any question, right? So Lucas says amazing explanation. So thanks a lot, Lucas. Um, you know, so Paula says, Paulo, Paulo says the five and most important tower of DevOps culture, right? Uh, okay. Uh, uh, sharing, right? So maybe that maybe that is. I, I uh, uh, that's great. All right. So last last chance. Free to ask any questions. Uh, it was great to be here with you guys. I hope that, you know, what, what do you see here, right? So what do we see here? First of all, we talk about, you know, how to have, having focus is important in your life, right? So knowing where you want to get makes a big difference because when you know where you're going to get, you can correct your course to get where you want to get, right? Uh, we also talk up here about, you know, for you to get where you want to get, you need skills, you need uh, your ability, you need experience, right? And your skills are, can be hard skills or soft skills. Hard skills are not hard because they're, they're difficult. They are hard because they're precise. Soft skills is not soft because they're easy. They are soft because they're malleable. Soft development is a soft skill because it's malleable, right? It's pattern matching. It's, you know, it's creative. All of those are soft skills. So soft development is a soft skill. And then once you know the soft development is a soft skill, you should be better prepared to apply the one skill that's going to get you that's, that's going to get you uh, uh, advancing life there is sharing sharing clearly is a soft skill because it's creative skill it's it malleable it's varies right so sharing is a very important skill and sharing will build you the trust that you need to get the most unique jobs in the market right and the way for it to grow is to go after and position yourself into a uh, very, very unique job, right? You said that all that's needed to be beyond the senior, right? Yes. You know, all that's needed beyond, to be beyond the senior is for you to learn how to share, to be trusted, and get unique jobs. Yes, right? I mean, that's not all that's needed, but that's the most important thing that needs to be, to, to grow beyond, beyond senior, right? Okay, guys. So thank, that's it. I don't see any more questions. I think we're getting to the end of the conversation here. So thanks a lot to X Geeks for this awesome opportunity. Thanks, Hita, uh, for being here and, and hosting me here and inviting thanks. me to be here. Thanks, Otavio. Uh, thanks, everyone, for, for participating. And especially, thanks you, right? All of you here, Cassio, Paulo, uh, Baslur, Lucas, uh, Glazio. Glazio says, Bruno always shares ex excellent knowledge. Thanks a lot, Glazio, right? Lucas and Francisco and who else was here? Max, right? So all of you, thanks a lot because the, the reason why we do all these is for you. So the fact that you are here, it makes everything possible. Thanks very much. It's true. It's true, Bruno. Thank you so much. I think I can say on behalf of everyone, and I told everyone at the beginning that this would be an extra interesting session, and uh, I think everyone uh, agrees with me. So thank you so much, Bruno. It's always super nice to have you on our channel. We cannot wait for the next uh, time, too. And thank you so much so much to everyone that watched us at home. As you know, uh, you can also uh, reach out to Bruno via um, uh, via Twitter, so you can feel free to, to, to check in the name as you can see there's <laughs> right over there so you know what to do so thank you so much and uh, hey, Hita, can i can i give everyone a gift of course we love gifts right. <laughs> yeah, so let me let me give let, yeah that's that's a good that's a good thing let me give everyone a gift right because we're talking about sharing here and so maybe one of the things that you want is uh, uh to start learning how to share right um and so so let me give you guys a book i, I wrote a little book called the low-hanging talks book right so let me 
let me just get that and share my screen here really quick, right? So he, I said I was not going to share the screen, but I will. <laughs> Sorry no, about that. Yeah, don't worry. I'm here to help you with that. Right. <laughs> so, so if you if you go, so I wrote this little book called The Low Hanging Talks, right? And it's a little book that sh that shows you how you can start sharing today, right? It has four plays and five tips uh, for you to really start sharing today, right? So very very easy. So you come to this page right here. Uh, you guys can see that, right? Yes, you can see that. Okay, so you go to this page, Low Hanging Talks. You put your name and email there, and you're going to receive that book right in your inbox. And then that's going to help you, uh, uh, you know, really uh, start sharing today, right? So you can start applying that skill, right? So kind of, yeah. So you can hear, you put your name and email right there, and then you're going to get, there's two things going to happen when you do that, right? First thing is, you're going to get the book, right? It's going to be an awesome book. It's going to give you cool tips on how to uh, uh, really start sharing today, right? The second thing is going to happen is you're going to get an email from me, right? So now you're going to have my direct contact. You can send an email back and say, hey, Bruno, you know, I, I, I had some doubts. I disagree with something that you said. You know, can you explain a little bit more? And I will help you out, grow your career, and, and, and become an awesome, uh, uh, trusted professional in the market, okay? So... Thanks a lot, Hita, uh, uh, for this last opportunity to give some everyone a gift. So I'm going to put here also in the chat, um, mm -hmm. I can say here, the low hanging awesome. talks book, right? And I, I cannot put links in the chat. So I'm just going to put here HTTP, HTTP uh, slash slash. Right. If you send directly uh, to me, I can put them in the chat if you want. Oh, you can put in the chat. Right? You can put in the chat. That's right. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I can. Let me just kind of put right here. Perfect. So the link is, okay. Awesome. Everyone likes gifts, especially this book, which I think it's super nice. So I bet Bruno, you'll have a couple of uh, requests coming from this presentation. Cool. <laughs> awesome. The low hanging talks. All right. <laughs> I just put there. Awesome. Okay. So anyone, anyone can take a look, right? So get this book. Uh, you know, if you want to, uh, you know, you, you can also, uh, I do have a, another book, right. Ab about being a speaker, right. That, that you want to, if you want, if you want to, if you want to go a little bit more into that, that's all good, but at least this book is going to get you started immediately, right. Very easy for you to get started. Okay. So thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Rita. Thank you so much, Bruno, and thank you once again to everyone watching us at home. It was awesome to have you, and uh, we're looking forward to seeing you on the next one. So thank you so much. Bye everyone. Have a good rest right. of your week. Ciao. Thanks, have a great day. Thank you.